Now, the Kenya Power Company has reported an 11.24% rise in its pre-tax profits of 12.25 billion shillings in its full-year financial results for the year ended June 2015. The firm attributes the strong performance to increased sales, improved distribution, efficiency and tariff reviews effected in 2013. The firm's CEO, Dr. Ben Chumo, says vandalism still remains a challenge for the power firm with interventions to tackle the menace being in the offing. KTN's Joy Dorin Bira has more. Its customers better, Kenya Power has in its resolve for the next financial year prioritized system expansion, network upgrade, customer connectivity and reduction in losses as ways to increase shareholder value. Speaking during the release of its full year results ended June 2015, Managing Director Ben Tumo emphasized the need to fulfill its mandate of universal access to electricity by the year 2020. We now stand at 2298 megawatts. At the time, I'll be able to let you know where we were at the time. And therefore, and that generation <clears throat> is, in most of the cases, coming from cheaper sources. Kenya Power's electricity sales grew to 7130 million units, up from 6790 million the previous year. Its customers grew to three million six hundred eleven thousand nine hundred and four a thirty percent increase from last year's two point eight million customers additional capacity charges by kenjin saw power purchase costs increase to forty four point four six billion shillings from thirty point six five billion in the 12-month period total revenues grew by one point three zero percent moving up to one hundred and six point seven six billion shillings Electricity sales moved up 24.3%, uh, moving to 77.84 billion shillings. Before tax moved up 12.5 billion shillings, an increase of 11.24%. Currently, thermal power accounts for 35.9% of installed capacity, though increased usage of geothermal power by 26% has seen an additional 235 megawatt to the grid, further enhancing efficiency. Hydropower accounts for 35.7%, wind 1.13%, solar 0.02%, while co-generation connects 1.13% to the national grid. Acquisition of wave lifts has taken a new twist where Customers, neighbors, if you have a neighbor who wants to have access to power, KPSC must pay for that way leave. And it takes a bit of time. The lighting company that accounts for 90% of Kenya's electricity distribution extended its network length to 16,552 kilometers compared to 6,979 kilometers, the largest connection done in a single year by the company. 11 billion shillings has been set aside for infrastructure projects, among them the installation of concrete poles to run predominantly with the wooden poles. This Ben Chumo says will ensure durability of connections and reduction in vandalism. For every five uh, poles, two are concrete and three are wooden poles. The last mile project is to commence for which 43.5 billion shillings from the AFDB and World Bank should see an extra 4 million customers access electricity 18 months after it has commenced. Joy Doreen Bira, KTN Business.